What's up guys, Sarah Drake here, and first I wanted to do, um, I haven't done this in the last couple of videos that I just put out, and I'm sorry for that, I, I should have said this beforehand, but thank you guys so much for letting me take this vacation. Um, I just wanted to spend more time with my family, I got to talk to my parents um, on Skype, which was really, really cool, because we haven't gotten to do that in a long time, because our schedules are constantly going back and forth, so it was really nice to do that. Um, I got to talk to my sister on the phone for a bit, which I get to talk to her even less than my own parents. Um, I've talked to other family, we've talked to some friends, and it just, it was a great holiday. It, it really was a great holiday, and I just want to thank you. Thank you guys so much for letting me take this vacation. I fucking needed it. Oh my god, but we are back, we are ready to go, and we are going to get our asses back into the game here with Heart of the Swarm. I can't wait. Now, I think... Is there? Okay, there is no. I couldn't remember because I haven't played this in about a week and a half. So, all right, I guess we're going straight into a mission. This plateau, we must move the swarm through the bone trench. The Terrans will bring everything they have against us. Okay, this one is a very, very, very tricky, very tricky. So I'm just letting you know it's very tricky. Because you are rushed in some areas. You really are. The Bone Trench. This is the only approach to the Terran Fortress. Oh, frame rates. I moved through here once before. The Terrans brought their Gorgon battle cruisers from the skies. They strafed us over and over. My brood bled and died, along with any hope of pushing the Terrans from Char. All right, now if you saw that tiny little cross that came over that little Those Zergling, when they can the bring down a Gorgon, we just need to reawaken them. My queen, we should simply race through the trench, not waste time fighting Gorgons. If we surprise the Terrans, we can make it through with acceptable losses. And if we don't, the swarm dies. You need to learn vision, Zagara. Planning, calculation, cunning. We can use this creep tumor to spawn a tumor near the Scourge Nest. Once it's awake, Warfield's Gorgon is done for. Okay, now if you noticed, um, I'm going to pause it really fast. When the Gorgon in the cutscene was actually coming out and destroyed one of the Banelings, there was an actual plus on top of a Zergling. That means that the acid, when the acid exploded, it landed on the Zergling and healed it a little bit. Now, if you don't use that, um, and if you decide to use a different upgrade for them, it doesn't show. So remember, everything that you do does also impact not only the gameplay, but the cutscenes and also some of your actual video footage at the same time. That's one thing I love about this game. What is it now? My queen, General Warfield has called in a Gorgon. It is headed for our hive cluster. Oh, we're fine, don't worry about it. Is huge. No wonder Warfield can't deploy two of them into the trench at once. Okay, I'm actually gonna turn up he my brightness just a little bit. Hurry. Spread creep to those scourge nests so we can place a creep tumor by them. That will awaken the scourge nest. I hope it is enough to destroy the Gorgon. I know I missed I missed on purpose because we don't yes. need to go. We have a creep tumor right. by the first okay. scourge nest. Time. Wait, how did it awaken? Annihilate that Gorgon. I thought I planted it far enough away so it wasn't even going to. Alright. Bazinga. Perfect. This is the beginning of the end, Warfield. The Scourge Nest spent its entire life force to take out the Gorgon. We have more. Get a creep tumor by the next one. Aww. Move. That poor thing. Okay, I'm just coming over here to gather some materials. This world is mine. 
And we are definitely going to need a lot more because we are going to need units. Or we are going to die. Painful and painful deaths. It's not going to be funny. And it's not going to be pretty either. Uh, we only have two, don't we? Damn it, yes we do. Okay. You are rushed, by the way, in this game. There is a lot of rushing to be done. And it is not fun. Because you need lots of stuff. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. The swarm never rests. Discover usable essence within Zerg biomass. Valuable sequences. Recover Come on. will empower Queen of Blades. There we go. You go right there. You go Get right there. Get another Gorgon into the fight. Oh god damn it. Do you have to? I mean, this is really not necessary. In all seriousness, it, it's just not. Oh boy. We need more stuff. And they come after you like a be ouch! So we are definitely going to need to uh, up our defenses just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Um, enough to not die. Pretty much. I really don't want to die myself. Ugh, I need more of them collecting minerals. This isn't fair. You. Oh god, it's getting close. Yep, fuck this it, we gotta go. This world is mine. Yes. Nothing stands in my way. Stay there. Don't do anything. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Dear God. Your extractors require three drones to harvest vegetables. I know, Isha. Shut up. What? And watch. Woohoo! Nothing stands in. Two down. There's more coming. Spread the creep. Bring in a Gorgon. Crush Kerrigan. Deploy drop pods. Get going. There's not much time. Yes? you near the front lines to spawn creep tumors. I understand. The more tumors there are, the faster creep spreads. That is very true. You have my attention. The swarm never rests. Okay. Um... Alright. You. And then another one of you. Oh, okay. Nope, nope. We're good. We're good. We're good. Get going. 
I can't right now. Please leave a message after the beep. Hmm. She want to go down here. The swarm right now. never rests. And I know it doesn't make a whole hell of a lot of sense, but trust me, it it will. Let's get this over with. It will. Another gorgon down. Keep it up. Awaken more scourge nests. Call in another gorgon. Yes, sir. Not really. Okay. Ah, I gotta start upgrading. Oh boy. The swarm hungers. Get going. Okay, there's some more. What is it now? The swarm never rests. This world is mine. Our forces are under attack. Okay, this will make it so that it's a lot easier for me to not die. Oh god, it's getting close. It's getting close, it's getting close, it's getting close, it's not good. Not good, not good, not good. Um. You have my attention. The swarm never rests. Push ahead. I'm trying, ma'am. I'm trying. Please don't kill me. Don't murder me and chop me up into little pieces. Because, well, you are, you are the Queen of Blades and you probably would. Get going. Nothing stands in my way. I know. Um, I think there's also a thing where there's two bases that you need to destroy, something along those lines. Oh god, it's getting close. It's getting close. I know, I'm trying. Ah, it's not gonna go. Okay, there's where the other one is. God damn it. I should have seen that one coming. Almost to the hive cluster. Hey, I'm trying. I'm trying! I can only go so fast. You have my attention. Okay, you guys just go that way. <laughs> Eh, things might get a little explodey. Come on. And there's the other one. Okay, so let's me now know where those two are. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So close, so close! Uh. There. Do it! Do it! Oh, thank God. Okay. We were almost what dead. Is it now? 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay. Now what I can also Got do. Oh, indeed. Leave this planet to me, Warfield. Never, Kerrigan. General Warfield called in another Gorgon, my queen. Lots of bones in that trench. All Zerg. You'll join them soon enough. Never! I will never! Nope, this way. Come on, this way. There we go. Thank you. Yep, yep. Kill them all. Everything. Everything needs to die. Thank you. Do don't move. Goddamn muscle. Speak quickly. <coughs> Who asked you? Nothing stands in my way. Our forces are under attack. That, I know the third piece is actually down here somewhere. Out with it. Push ahead. This is over with. Speak quickly. There's not much time. This war. You have my attention. Thank you. Okay, I'm actually gonna have all of you meet up over there. Yay, another one! Another Gorgon! You'll pay for this, Kerrigan. Get another Gorgon into the fight. There's one of them. I don't know if I've ever gotten this achievement where I had to get all of them. I don't think so. Yes. Get going. I don't want to get it just yet because I know that she does have another thing right over Speak here. Quickly.
Ah! You have my attention. There's not much time. Oh, why thank you. Morgan is almost to the hive cluster. We've got time. to go over here. Speak quickly. Okay. So now we are going to hit the scratch nest. Please get out of his range, get out of his range. Oh fuck 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 please survive. All of you survive. Swarm hungers. The swarm never rests. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, why did it explode? Oh, shit. Keep it up. Awaken more Scourge Nest. I claimed this planet in the name of the Terran Dominion. I'm not going to lose it. Oh, I think you are. This is your last Gorgon, isn't it? Probably. I don't know what's over there. Push ahead. There's no much time. Nothing stands in my way. Okay. Now I want you all to go over there now. Because I've got time. The swarm hungers. I've got plenty of time. Just kind of lays around and do whatever I want. Jesus Christ. Oh, do I have time? Because this place is completely and utterly clean now. And I could just move the creep around, do whatever I want, reclaim this place with a swarm. So there were three of them! I was wrong! But this is actually a good thing. Hmm. I just gotta wait, I guess. we go. I win. Fingers. Come on. There we go. Pull back. Repeat. All Dominion forces in the trench. Retreat. We've lost control. Ah. Uh, this is Warfield. I know you can hear me. I yes, have I a can. message for you. Oh, really? Bring everything you have. Okay. Bring your whole swarm. I don't want to hunt down stragglers after we wipe you out. No. I'll see you on the Dauntless Plateau, old man. Now he's just throwing a temper tantrum. Oh, so I already had the achievement. Well, fuck me then. Most Gorgons to stroke within 120 seconds. Uh, don't let five units die. Yeah, I already know that. Uh, destroy. Okay, I destroy. Okay, so I did get it all. I thought I didn't think I had that one. All right. Um, but I did get all the ordinal commands. Um, and see percentage of map covered in creep. Now this is where it's going to start making it to where you can actually see 
how much of the map you have covered in creep. It's kind of, I guess, like a little mini game for yourself to where you can try and see just how much you can get completely and utterly covered. I do it all the time and it's challenge because you really do have to multitask. You have to multitask, especially with all your different creep tumors, which one's ready, which one needs to go where, do you have to put multiples in the same area for them to spread out? It's it's kind of fun, in my opinion. I like it. Uh, fuck you if you don't. Okay, so continue. Also, I am eating Christmas candy because I'm technically still on vacation, so I can do what I want. Ha. You have awakened new abilities, my queen. Yay! Oh god, my candy is melting. Them now. Why isn't it like? Oh, mm, oh this is all sticky now. Ah. <laughs> mm. Your power level has increased. A new tier of abilities has awakened. Yay! Okay. Okay, this one, you can just randomly spawn banelings. Kerrigan can spawn the banelings. The other one, wild mutation, uh, friendly zerg units in the target area gain plus 200 maximum life and plus 100 increased attack speed. They actually, you see them grow a little bit in size and they start glowing like this orangey, yellowish glow kind of a thing. It's really cool. Um, I like using this though. I feel like you get a lot more use out of this one. And even though it only lasts for like 10 seconds, um, it, you can do a lot in 10 seconds. Back. Okay. Um, as you can see, we are everywhere! That fortress is nearly unassailable. There is only one ground approach and one- It doesn't matter. We're the swarm. We can sacrifice thousands for each one of their soldiers. Your strategy against the Terrans was strange, but I understand it now. Abathur's changes are bearing fruit. Do you remember what I told you on the battlefield? Vision. Is this like cunning? No. Viciousness? Abathur, go to him. His work is painful. His work will make you understand Vision. I will go. Yay! Okay, now to talk to Isha. Hello. Isha, when the Queen of Blades, when I commanded the swarm here on Char, what was I like? You were mighty. You made us cunning and strong, and we knew we would survive forever under you. And now? Now nothing is clear, but the swarm will continue. If you die, we will serve another leader. I am the leader of the swarm, and if I die, so do all of you. Remember it. That's a little dark if you think about it. Okay, uh, Lucian Pit. Talk to Abba. Tell me about your work. Look at flesh, see only potential. Strands, sequences, twisting, separating, joining. See how it could be better. Eat flesh, splinter bone. Inside me can touch it, weave it, spin it, make it great. But not perfect? Never perfect. Perfection goal that changes, never mm -hmm. stops moving. Can chase, cannot catch. Hmm. You certainly have your uses. That's actually, in my opinion, very, very true. That perfection, there's no such thing as perfection. That it is something that's constantly moving, constantly evolving. And it's something you can always try and, and catch, but you're never going to be able to actually grasp it. And I've always believed that. And I, I do. And I, that's why I like Abatha. Okay, well, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more of my videos. As always, I'm Sarah Strake. I love each and every one of you. I hope you have an amazing New Year's. I can't wait to see you guys uh, on the 31st on Blab. <laughs> like I said, I, I will get the, um, the link for it. I just don't have the link right now, but I will get it for you guys later. But again, Sarah Strake, I love each and every one of you, and I will talk and play for you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.